All right, so this is a video for Project Lead the Way, Magic of Electrons, Activity 3.2 on Logic Gates. If you are blessed enough to have snap circuit kits that have all of the logic gates, then this is the video for you. And these are all the pieces that you need to have your kids run through every single one of these logic gates. Because every completed logic gate that I'm gonna show in this video can be done with just these components. You need a battery component, just one. You also need two AA batteries. Those are not shown, you do need to get those. You need a black jumper, you need a red jumper. These are the ones that come apart and you can connect them to different things. You need a, either a push button or a slide button. I use push buttons. You need three LEDs. I did two green and one red, just so that you can show input and output. You need a three jumper, two of the two jumpers, a four, a five, and you need your gates. You need your not gate, which is 15. You need your and gate, which is 16. You need your or gate, which is 17. You need your N and or NAND gate, which is 18. You need your N or or NOR gate, which is 19. And you need your ZOR gate, your X or gate, which is 20. So this is the NOT gate. This is the setup. All right, you can pause, you can take a look. I have the jumper connected to the green. I'm only using the green in this one. I do not have anything in the middle for the NOT gate because there's only one input on the NOT gate and one output. So if I push the switch button, you can see that the red light comes on. If I connect this jumper over here, the green light comes on because on NOT gate, the output is the opposite of the input. So if the green light is on, the red light is not. That's the opposite. If the green light goes off, the red light comes on. That's the opposite. So this is the not gate, all right? And you can jumper that back. That was U15. This is U16. This is the AND gate. If both inputs are on, then the output is on. So if I push my button, all three of them come on. If I unplug one of them, then only the center light is on because the output is off because not both of them are on. So in order for this circuit to work, both of them have to be on. Both the green have to be on and then the red comes on. If that condition is not met, then the red goes out and that works for either one. If I unplug the middle one, the red one also goes out. So if, if either condition is not met where both inputs are on, then that red light goes out. This is U16, the AND gate. U17, the OR gate. If either input is on, if either of these is on, that red one is on. So right now, they're both on, the red one is on. If I unplug the middle one, the red one stays on because this is on, that's on. If this goes out, as long as that one's on, that one's on. So you only need one of them for the output to be on. If both get unplugged, then there's no output because it's not meeting that condition. So one of these two or both of these two need to be on for the OR gate in order for the output to be on. That's U17. U18 is the N AND gate. If both of them are on, then the output is off. So if I plug them both in, they're both on, the output is off. If I break that, if anything else happens, if one of them goes out, the red comes on. If the other one goes out, the red comes on. If they both go out, the red stays on because if both of them are off, that meets the condition. If only one of them is on, the other one is off, that meets the condition. But if both of them are on, that does not meet the condition and the output goes off. So that is U18, the NAND gate. U19 is the NOR gate. If either input is on, then the output is off. So right now I have nothing plugged in. So the red light should come on and there it is. But if I plug in either input, you get the green on, but no red. The other one, 
You get the green on, but no red. Both of them. You get the green on, but no red, all right? If both of them get unplugged, then the red comes back on because if either input is on, then the output is off. But if both inputs are off, then that's on. This is the U19 NOR gate. And I just wanna point out that the jumpers that are connected to both of my input LEDs, I'm just touching them to this number two that's up here, all right? And that's what's allowing me to show the input and the output, all right? So the, again, that is U19, the NOR gate. And then the last one that you have in the snap circuit kit is the ZOR gate. If A or B, but not both of them, are plugged in, then the output is on. So it's sort of like the OR gate, but the OR gate, if both of these are on, that is also on. This one says only one of these can be on for the output to be on. So right now, they're both plugged in. If I turn them on, they're both on, I've got no output. But if I unplug one, I get output because it's meeting the condition of only one of them being on, but not both. If I unplug both, then I lose everything. I'm not meeting that basic condition, all right? If I plug just the red in, then I get the middle green light on and I get the output on, but not. But if both of them are on again, then I'm not meeting that condition, all right? So again, it's the same circuit for every single logic gate, except for the first one. The first one was the one where, <clears throat> because there was only a single input, we weren't using that middle LED. But if you have all of these pieces and you watch this video, which is seven minutes long, I apologize, you can have your kids run through every single logic gate that's on activity 3.2 and you can have them show you in the real world how these gates are working and what happens when things get unplugged and plugged in your inputs and your outputs thank you ladies and gentlemen